When you realize your friend is really a frenemy. That's what we were going into the weekend. She was about to find out. The whole sabotage, you know, the outfit thing for the holiday party. Yeah, they've been friends for about six months, and this girl just doesn't seem like someone who actually likes her, but she can't pinpoint it. But this girl will do things like she'll make fun of her around their other friends, but it comes off as playful. Um, She'll be rude with her and give off jealous vibes or will gossip about her. But she wants to make sure that before she ends the friendship, she's not she's able to trust her gut instincts and that this girl is actually a friend of me. So she was going to set her up by asking her to help her pick out an outfit for this big formal Christmas event. Christmas event they all go to every year, the whole friend group. So she's going to pick a bunch of outfits, but purposely pick out one outfit that looks terrible and mix it in with these other cute ones. So she'll know if the friend of me picks the ugly outfit, then she's an actual friend of me. But if she picks a cute one, then maybe it's all in her head and she's misreading things. This is such a woman thing right here, because could you imagine, Mo, you and I are going out and I'm like, dude, which one of these three outfits do you think look good on me, man, for uh, me to go out with tonight? Yeah, I would probably ignore you. Never, ever, ever happen. <laughs> yeah, that would never happen. In a guy's world ever. That's weird. All right, so here is the update. I wanted to thank you guys for making me feel a bit validated and not so crazy. I heard Kristen say that as you get older, you have less time or patience for quote-unquote fake friends, and I really very much agree with that, which is exactly why I wanted to confirm if that's the type of friend that she is so I could end this friendship. That said, she is also part of the same social circle. That does make things way more difficult, doesn't it? It is. It it definitely complicates it. I felt like uh, it was easiest to maintain a friendship with her if I just happened to be incorrectly reading into her. Well, after this weekend, I can confirm that my text worked and I very much do not trust her one bit. I think I was supposed to be test worked. Uh, I had her and a few other friends overfed, overfed with some wine and to help me choose a dress. A few of them also brought over some dress options so we could all help them decide as well. So I tried on my three dress options. Two of them are stunning. And one of them is just very cheaply made, hangs horribly, makes me look so frumpy. They all tried to be really nice and not be too insulting about any of the choices. However, most of them all agreed that the frumpy dress wasn't the one. They were very nice about it and said, you look great in all of them. But then they all ranked their top choices and all but two girls had the frumpy dress ranked last. But my frenemy was really trying hard to convince me that it was the best choice, claiming that the color looks best with my hair and my eye color. (gasps) Busted. (laughs) For shame. (laughs) So I started to really pay attention to the two of them and realized that they both seemed a bit cold towards me. And whenever I would talk, they both seemed to look at each other with a subtle eye roll. So it seems this other friend is also not a good friend also. I really want to be an adult here and handle this the right way, but I am hurt. It's taking so much restraint to not go to the other friends in the group to discuss it and almost get their, the others on my side. I don't want her somehow talking bad about me behind my back to all of them, but I also don't want to look like I'm doing that either. So I honestly have nothing I have never done anything to either of these two for them to treat me like this. This all feels very much like middle school, but I also wasn't the one to start this. How do I handle mean girls as an adult? Mm. This is where I would utilize unspoken boundaries. Some boundaries you have to put into words and you have to speak into the universe to the person. Other boundaries you set up when when a person shows their true colors and you realize you realize what you're dealing with. That's when you can set up your own personal boundaries and it's just distancing yourself from them and um, managing expectations of what to expect from them. Yeah, I wouldn't put any energy in it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm getting out of it, man. Like, life really is too short and also too long sometimes. Well, they're still part of the friend group, though. (laughs) If they're still part of the friend group, um, they're going to be there, but it's just, 
you can hang out and not give give yourself give of yourself to somebody and give them too much of your energy. Mm-hmm. Like they can be there, but you don't have to you don't have to give yourself to them. Yeah, because at the point where you have to do all of this yeah, to determine man. if someone is a friend or not a friend, they're just not. Too to much me. energy. Way too much energy. We not worth it anymore. You oh. already know who they are. Exactly. Yep. Get out. All right, it's the Burt Show. The Burt Show. So first, thanks for watching. Second, you like what you just watched? That just scratches the surface. Get the Burt Show on any podcast platform. We're so good.